Now we're going to take a look at the concept called greatest common factor and we abbreviate this GCF. The greatest common factor for a list of numbers is the largest factor that divides into all of the numbers of the list evenly. For example, the GCF of 20 and 30 is 10 and it is 10 because 10 divides into 20 evenly two times and 10 also divides into 30 evenly three times. There's other common divisors of 20 and 30, but 10 is the largest common divisor or common factor. Where do we use this GCF, you're probably asking? Well, the GCF is used when we reduce a fraction. Let's say we have the fraction 20 thirtieths. To reduce this, we divide both numerator and denominator by the GCF of 10. 20 divided by 10 is 2, 30 divided by 10 is 3. So 20 thirtieths reduces to 2 thirds. The quickest way to reduce a fraction is to divide out by the GCF in both numerator and denominator. A simple method for finding the GCF, which I call method 1, is to list all the possible factors of the numbers in the list and then choose the largest common factor from the list. Let's look at an example where we find the GCF of 24 and 40. Factors of 24 are all the numbers that divide in evenly, so let's list them. 24 is 1 times 24, 24 is 2 times 12, 24 is 3 times 8, 24 is 4 times 6, 6 times 4, 8 times 3, 12 times 2. You notice that we can really stop at 4 times 6 because after that we just get repetitions. So we list all those factors. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24 in our list of factors for 24. In a similar manner, we find all the factors of 40. 40 is 1 times 40, 2 times 20, 4 times 10, 5 times 8. And after that, we get repetitions. All these numbers in a list make up the list of factors 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10 and 20. The largest common number from that list is 8. So 8 is our GCF of 24 and 40. And an application of this problem would be to reduce the fraction 24 fortieths. We would divide 24 by 8 to get 3 and we would divide 40 by 8 to get 5. So 24 fortieths would reduce to 3 fifths. We'll cover more of this later when we get to fractions. For now, let's look at another example. Find the GCF of 13 and 20. The factors of 13 are just 1 and 13. Those are the only two numbers that divide in. The factors of 20 are 1, 2, because 2 times 10 is 20, 4 and 5, 10 and 20. And those are the only numbers that divide into 20. Of these two lists, the only common number is 1. So the GCF of 13 and 20 would just be 1. Applied to fractions, the only thing we could divide out of both 13 and 20 in the fraction 13 twentieths would be 1. So that means 13 20 cannot be reduced anymore. A second method for finding the greatest common factor of a list of numbers is to write the prime factorizations of each of the numbers. The GCF will be the product of common factors present in all the prime factorizations. Let's show this with a few examples. Example we have here is find the GCF of 44 and 80. We find the prime factorizations of 44 and 80. 44 is 2 times 22, which is then 2 times 2 times 11. 80 is 2 times 40, which we can write as 2 times 2 times 20, and then so on to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. And you notice I don't use the exponents here because this is a little different method. I just leave the prime factorizations without the exponents. But then I look at the lists. What are the common factors? Well, 2 is in both lists, but only 2 times 2 is common to both lists. Not 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, but just 2 times 2. 11 and 5 are not common to both lists. So the greatest common factor is the 2 times 2 or just 4. 
Let's look at a second example. Find the GCF of 24 and 48. We find the prime factorization of 24, and that's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Then we do the prime factorization of 48, and when we break that down, we get 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, or 16 times 3. We have factors of both 2 and 3 in both lists. We have a factor of 3 to the first in both lists. We also have three factors of 2 in both lists. So we use the three factors of 2 and the 3 as part of our greatest common factor. We multiply those together and we get 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 equals 24. So 24 is the greatest common factor of 24 and 48. Applying this to fractions, if we were to reduce the fraction 24 48, we would divide 24 by the GCF 24 to get 1, and we would divide 48 by 24 to get 2, so 24 48 reduces to 1 half. You might be saying to yourself, why do I have to learn this second method for finding the GCF? It's kind of complicated. I don't like finding all those prime factorizations. Well, if you take an Algebra 2 class and you see this fraction x cubed plus 2x squared plus x over x cubed minus x, and we want to reduce that, what you have to do is factor both the numerator and the denominator. Then you have to identify factors that are common to both top and bottom and then cancel those factors out. It's a lot like what we're doing here with this second method. So the second method has a lot of value if you're taking an Algebra 2 class beyond this pre-algebra class. In perspective, if you're never going to take any more Algebra classes ever, you know, Method 1 for both LCM and GCF will probably work for you. However, if you're going to take more Algebra, especially Algebra 2, you really want to learn Method 2 for both LCM and GCF.